Hi, I'm Dr. Makarov. Welcome back, New Hope family. So what is PCOS anyway? PCOS stands for polycystic ovarian syndrome, and it's a hormone imbalance, and it's a really common hormone imbalance. One in 10 women have this hormone imbalance. So let me show you um, a uterus here. So here's your uterus and here's your ovaries. And every month, uh, your uterus grows an egg, and if you're not pregnant, the egg uh, resorbs and causes you to get your period. Now with PCOS, instead of growing an egg every month, you may not and you may get longer or more irregular cycles because of the hormone imbalance. And PCOS, again, they're not cysts on your ovaries, but they're all these little follicles which we can see on an ultrasound. So it's kind of not the best name, I say. It's kind of scary sounding name, but it's really little eggs. So in some way, for fertility, it's good because you have a lot of eggs on your ovary. Usually women with PCOS have a good egg supply but the hormone imbalance isn't allowing the eggs to release regularly. And when you're trying to get pregnant and you're not having regular periods, which is one of the most common um, effects of PCOS, then it makes it hard to get pregnant because you want to release an egg every 28 days about and that gives you that chance to get pregnant. The egg can be fertilized for 12 or 24 hours every month and so you want to pinpoint that time and that will boost your fertility. But if your periods are really irregular, it's hard to know when you ovulate, it's hard to time intercourse and all this will decrease your chances of getting pregnant. So that's how the main way that PCOS affects fertility. Thank you for joining me today. Feel free to DM me if you have any questions at all and I'll get right back to you.